Good evening, I'm Tess Monty. We have a breaking news update out of Cherokee County tonight. Two men are in critical condition after a plane crash just outside of the Tin Killer Airport. First responders pulled two men out of the wreckage. News on 6 reporter Tony Russell spoke with the family who discovered the plane in their pasture. This is what Judy Stratton and her family found in their field after they saw a plane flying low over their home. It was interesting, kind of scary. You know, you didn't, you hoped you didn't walk up on something that was going to be really bad. And it was, it was pretty bad when we got over there. Stratton's family raced to the crash site, helped get rescuers to the men in the plane. After the plane crashed in the woods, she saw another plane circling and communicating with a man on an ATV looking for the downed plane. Witnesses say one man appeared to be alert and talking, the other one conscious and not talking. A federal investigator with the FAA arrived to look at the crash scene. Records show the plane is registered out of Ozark, Arkansas. and was built in the mid-40s. You can see where pieces of the plane are still in the trees. It crash landed in this part of the cow pasture. You can see where the landing gear got ripped off when it made impact. The plane settled into that bank of bushes. Living near the air park all her life, this is the first time Stratton has witnessed a plane crash. Well, I hope they do okay. That was you hate to see lives that old, get to live that old, and then something like this happened to them, doing something I'm sure they both loved. And the next step is to remove this plane and get it out of the pasture. Tony Russell, News on 6.